Hey everybody. Here looking at this Lenovo T60 notebook, also known as an IBM T60. And this will show you guys a good example of a quality design cooling system. See, I made videos before about how a laptop's cooling system works, and most laptops have a single heat pipe that goes across the CPU and the Norpris chip. And in some cases, also the discrete graphics controller. This laptop here has an HCI discrete graphics controller. Not sure what version, but it does have it, and it's the Intel Centrino Duo machine. Notice here. Here is the cooling system. There is two separate heat pipes in this cooling system. This one is responsible for cooling the GPU and the Northbridge chip. This heat pipe comes over here to this back set of fans. And this heat pipe here cools the CPU. This heat pipe travels over to here to this side has some fans over here. So the CPU and chips are on separate coolers. The reason why I had to open this notebook up is because the cooling fan seized up. This machine has a good quality cooling system but in some cases the cooling fans can act up. It's little sleeve bearing fans. What I'm going to do is I'm going to um, take this cooler out and put some marble mystery oil on this fan and give it a good clean up. So that way I can get it run like new again. And if it starts acting up anymore I'll have to replace it. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to remove the CPU core. Well the cooling, the entire cooling system itself. And after reading online while well, watching the YouTube video, you have to take off this here, this little bracket, and then these four screws. And that should release the core. Okay, I just pulled off the core. This machine has a separate discrete graphics processor rather than no um, integrated graphics into the North Ridge. Here's the Intel South Ridge chip under this battery in this little area here. Here is the Intel North Ridge, and here's the ATI GPU. You can see the two Hynix memory chips on the chip itself. And here is our processor. Okay, it's another day, and I got the replacement part in for this computer. I had to just go ahead and replace the fan on this thing because the old fan is just so wore out that, I mean, the bearings on it are so wore out. Not to mention they'll just pop right off the, the actual fan, just pop right off the motor. So, went ahead and just ordered another fan for this thing. And it was an $8 part, but the shipping on this thing was extremely high because we had to have it next day air to this location. To get this computer done in a quick manner because this computer is very important for the company that runs on it and of course these are identical fans the replacement and the old one this in here spins freely and has little play in its bearing I'm pretty sure it's a sleeve bearing too so well hopefully they resolved or at least tried to better the bearings in the newer fans than compared to the older ones. The kit also come with a syringe of thermal compound and actually they actually gave us a pretty good bit too. And funny enough that this thermal paste here has, seems to be a whole lot better than what comes with CPU cores such as Cooler Masters and Rocketfish cores from Best Buy and um, many other cores I've bought from Rose Wheel and all sorts of different brands. This thermal paste here comes from a different core and I've used a little bit of it because I'm I'm using it on my basic OEM machines because this stuff here is it's not that great. I mean it's real thick and it's hard to apply. This this think of it this way, it's a whole lot thicker than Arctic Silver 5. This stuff here is also in a grayish look but it's a whole lot thinner so it should be a whole lot easier to apply. And of course on this laptop I'm going to be using this white paste here because it's, it applies very good to dyes. It's really thin and it seems to do the job pretty well. 
So now what I got to do here is get this cooler cleaned out because it is slam full of dust. If you can see here, slam full of dust. It's a wonder this notebook didn't overheat a couple of times being like this. And that's why I urge everybody to to keep their laptops cleaned out at least once every couple of months if you use your laptop a lot. At least once a year if you only use your laptop once in a while. So more or less if you're using if your laptop is your primary machine and it runs almost all the time, I would say clean it out at least once a month. So now I gotta go and get a paintbrush so I can get this thing cleaned up real good. So now we want us we just need to go ahead and go in here and scrape this dust out. Yeah, look at that. And trust me, they get worse than this. Don't think this is bad. I mean, it's bad, but <laughs> I've seen some that were a whole lot worse than this. I do like the fact that they use copper in this cooler. I'm not, I'm not sure if it's pure copper or if it's just um, plated copper or what it is, but it's a whole lot better than the aluminum I see in a lot of other notebooks. I'm going to get this side cleaned out real good. Just look at the dust go everywhere. Now, we'll go ahead and apply the new fan. And of course, it mounts in here like this. And get it set in there. Make sure we get inside all these tabs. This cooler has little tabs on it. The copper does anyway. There's little tabs in here. Now it's installed. We're just going to bend these tabs back around and we should be good to go. Just trying to get this figured out here. It's an exact OEM replacement so it should fit in there just fine but of course nothing ever works perfect nowadays so we're gonna go ahead so we get this thing down in there like it's supposed to go now we're getting somewhere I believe and push these tabs back over there's little bitty tabs on the copper like I was saying these have to be bent over to hold the fan onto the cooling assembly Then I'll have to apply some tape to this to hold this side up because it originally had tape on it. Feels like an aluminum, some sort of tape. But I think electrical tape will do just fine. Make sure these tabs are bent, bent down all the way. Spin the fan, make sure there's no rubbing inside the fan itself. So now we're going to put some tape here to ensure that the air blows through the fans like it's supposed to. Then we'll be set to go. We don't need very much, just a little bit. the steps for this side here to make sure this metal is making good contact with this copper
The other thing I noticed weird about this notebook is it doesn't suck its air in through the bottom like most. It has vents all over the notebook itself. And this fan here sucks air from inside the computer. So it, helps, so it kind of helps cool everything else inside the computer. Okay, now that's done. So now next we'll go ahead and reinstall this to the computer. And one thing to note about notebook cooling systems is most notebooks for the chipset and this Greek graphics controller if included these things use thermal pillows instead of thermal paste this stuff here is actually pretty hard but it kind of soft at the same time and if you remove this and apply thermal paste there's going to be a pretty decent gap between the die of said chip and the copper itself the copper heat pipe so if you absolutely do have to remove these you'll need to use copper shims with thermal paste in between them to bridge the thermal connection now at that setting we'll go ahead and reinstall this but first we're going to clean this up and clean the CPU die so we can apply some thermal paste to the processor so like I'm saying never mess with the chipset die or the discrete graphics die if included do reapply thermal paste to your CPU so we're going to have a look here at the computer's motherboard and let's see right here like I was saying here in the early in the video here is the Northridge chip here is the ACI discrete graphics controller and here is the CPU itself and under this battery is where the Southbridge chip is located. Okay, just got finished putting the computer back together, and I've let it run for a little while, and it works just fine. Not a problem at all. Originally, when you started up, it would say fan error, and shut itself back off, but now, it's been going, I would say, for about half an hour or so, I'm just sitting here running, haven't had any issues out of it. Normally, I would log in and do a stress test, I want to make sure the cooling system works just fine, but in this case, I can't even log into it because it is a corporate computer and it's not hooked to its LAN right now anyways it's back up and running so that was a little tour of the higher quality cooling system but junk fan in these IBM slash Lenovo ThinkPad T60 notebooks so if you have any questions or comments feel free to ask